Hi, this is your video for question 5. Here we have an OR situation. So the last problem had AND, this one has OR. Alright, here's one equality, here's another. Both of them have lots of fractions. Let's see how we deal with that. I see a 3, a 2, and a 6. I'm trying to think of a common, uh, common multiple of 3, 2, and 6. Because if I multiply by that multiple, it will cancel away all these fractions. 3, 2, and 6 all go into 6. So I'm going to multiply everything by 6. Let's see what happens. So I did 6 times that, there's a 6. I did 6 times 3, there it is. 6 times that, there it is. Alright, now I can cancel. 6 divided by 3 is actually 2. So I'm going to have a 2 left over here, and a 2 is going to multiply through those parentheses. So, see, we had 6 divided by 3 is 2, and 2 times x is 2x. 2 times 2 is 4. 18 divided by 2 is 9. And then this 6 cancels away, and we're left with just x minus 1. Now I'm going to combine the 4 and the 9. Oh, no, I guess I did the x first. Sorry, subtract x here, subtract x here. I'm left with this. Now this 4 and the 9 make 13, so I subtracted 13 from this side, subtract 13 here, I get this. x is greater than negative 14. Let's do the other side now. This, uh, when I look at this, again, I'm looking for common multiple. There's a 5, there's a 2, both those numbers have a common multiple of 10. So I multiply this by 10, and I see I have 10 fifths. I multiply this by 10, and I have 10 over 2. Now I can cancel. 10 divided by 5 is 2 and 2 multiplied through here is 2x plus 4. 2 times x, 2 times 2, 4. Over here, 10 divided by 2 is 5. So 5 times x is 5x. And this 10 divided by 2 is 5, so 5 times negative 4, negative 20. Now I'm going to subtract 2x from both sides. All right, left with this. Now I'm going to add 20 here, add 20 here. So 24 is less than 3x. Divide by 3 on both sides. x is greater than 8. Okay, as uh, we did in the last problem, we need to put this and this, both of these final inequalities, on this number line here where it says both. So let's see what both look like. So here's negative 14, and it says x is greater than negative 14. So x is greater than negative 14. All right, now we have this one, 8. So here's 8, and x is greater than 8. So well, there we have it. Okay, this is an OR situation. So the answers, final answers for x can be numbers that are either this or this. So you can have numbers that, that satisfy this or numbers that satisfy this. So then any number here works because, for example, any number that works in this, this one here is okay. Any number that works in this one is okay. So or means you're not looking for the overlap, you're just looking for anywhere that you have solutions that are possible. So from negative 14 onwards is our solution. So that is the final solution, negative 14 onwards. For example, what's the number that's greater than negative 14? Well, negative 13, it works. Or a number that's greater than 8? Well, uh, let's say 9 or 10, it works. So all these numbers work in here. But numbers below negative 14 do not. 